Whether you're a writer, a dungeon master, or a world builder, you'll need places for your characters or peoples to meet. They need places to gather, places to stumble into others, and places to find quests and work. There's always the stereotypical tavern, or maybe a tavern that's an inn to mix it up. But there's so many other diverse and interesting places for these interactions that might even lead to their own conflicts and plots. Maybe your characters went to the local church or temple, as most in the town would be there. The distraught might be there seeking aid or comfort. Someone might be offering a sacrifice to the gods for aid in a challenge they are to face. Make your characters make themselves the answers to their prayers. As your characters go their way or about a quest, they might pass through a forum, town square or market. In the forum, the wealthy and politicians debate the recent bandit raids. Could your characters profit from that? A crier announces in the square, the Senate will reward anyone who aids in the war. The market bustles with people, a merchant chases away common thieves, then explains that he lacks his famous wares because the bandits and thieves. Your characters continue on, they want to relax. On to the bathhouse they go, whether to bathe, relax in the pools, be pampered in the spa, or to enjoy the company of a bathhouse maid or lad, it's their choice. There, they overhear a drunken politician brag of the trap he set for his rival. A shopkeeper speaks to her friends of how she struggles to prosper in these troubled times. Now, you might be saying, but my story is medieval. But bathhouses were popular in the Middle Ages. In medieval times, they were also popular in Japan and may have existed in Bronze Age India. Bathhouses can fit in many different societies for these purposes. Now, hearing about some play or the games, your characters go to the theater or arena. Outside lines move slowly to enter. Maybe your characters start up a conversation with the other guests. Maybe they see the announcements posted on the walls by the entrances. Again, the crier announces the same he did in the square before the games or play starts. After they could go to the taverns or smoke houses, you know if they're not drunk enough after all the drinks they've had at the bathhouse. Now, you know what happens there and what your characters might hear or see, so I won't bore you with it. Now, it's been a long and uneventful day for your lazy characters who didn't pick up on any of the quests presented, but they're still tired. They go to an inn, maybe it's attached to the tavern or the smokehouse. They meet travelers attached, attacked by bandits, see those waiting for other travelers who will never come. Maybe they hear one speak of the ruins filled with treasure. Maybe another says those ruins are haunted. Now, in the morning your characters are off. They reach the waterhole or oasis. Out of the trade routes, caravans mingle there with pilgrims, refugees, and nomads. Two clans of nomads are fighting. Apparently, the rivers' migration routes have crossed. And is that bandits you hear coming over the hills, or dunes, or are they monsters? Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.